intensity that we, with which we've played over the preseason. And uh, I think uh, players are playing as a team, uh, sticking up for each other a little bit. So I think that's a good sign too. In the absence of Bosch, what, what, what kind of identity do you hope they have to this team? Have to find well, they're going to have to be a team, number one. They're going to have to play together. Um, uh, it's going to have to be uh, points and uh, by, you know, con contributions from everybody. Uh, you know, we're going to have to have guys that, uh, you know, maybe make a little bit of a sacrifice to, to you know, get more involved in the offense. Uh, some of our guys are going to have to score more points than they are used to in the past. But uh, yeah, at the same time, they have to do that without being selfish. So uh, otherwise, you disrupt the team. And, and I think that uh, you know, we don't have the one focal guy to go to. So it's not like everything's based around a guy. What about the importance of Andrea, and Andrea this year? I mean, he had a big season last year. Yeah. Are you expecting more from him when you say guys have to? He, he's he's one of the players that has to step up a little bit. But we're not putting the pressure on him to score you know, 25, 24 points a game like Chris Bosch did. Yeah. Uh, he, he will he will find a way to score points, and uh, you know. But but we've never we haven't had a problem scoring points the last two or three years. We, our, our biggest problem has been trying to uh, stop teams and keeping guys in front of us, and, uh, and 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 not get broken down uh, to where we have to get into help side rotations and everything like that. So uh, that's one of the things that we're still working on. Jared was talking this morning about the help side defense as a, as a matter of trust. Mm -hmm. Trust of the guys in our meter. Is that the hardest thing? The style that we're playing it is right now, and and that's why we've been, you know, on our guys so much is that, you know, uh, if I if my job's to deny you or front you in the low block area, and throw it over top, I've done my job. And if the guy, weak side guy's in there, you dunk the basketball. That's all. That's that's on me, and I look bad. And I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose that trust that my teammates aren't gonna be there. Yeah. And uh, I'm gonna not maybe do it. Maybe not do it next time. And then we will get back into the same stuff that we've done in the past. How hard is that? Yeah. How, how do you develop that trust? I think by pointing it out over and over, having them get embarrassed at times, uh, and uh, make, making them accountable for being there, and uh, not putting the blame as the fans or media might on some individual guys, but putting it on the guys who are not there for the help. Sometimes we get caught up in a guy beats somebody and he's, he's done his job because he's pressured the basketball and he's made him break the offense and he's got, made him go somewhere else. And if the help side guy's in there, then everybody picks on the guy who got beat. And well, yeah, sometimes that's, that's not the case. Yeah. We have to have you know, our ears closed to that and know what we're trying to do as a team and be strong enough to, to fight through that. Jay, are you concerned at all about the depth? How, how far do you feel you can go uh, in I, the I, event that you have a you know major injury? To I think I think that's the strength of this team is our depth. I, I really think uh, even in uh, the, the preseason games that we've played so far, the, the, the guys coming in off the bench have uh, sometimes been the best players for us. And uh, have they've changed games. We've gotten off to poor starts, and the bench guys have come in and turned it around for us with their energy. And we have a very athletic group you know, that's waiting to get into games. And uh, once they do, uh, it changes the speed of the game for us. Jay, what are you, some of the specific things that you're going to be looking for tonight? Okay. If we get off to a good start, that, that, I think that's important. But... We're not, uh, you know, doing anything tonight where we're we're, we're thinking, uh, and, you know, we're playing games about, you know, this is the team we play on opening night. We, we think we can make adjustments afterwards. Um, we're gonna try to do all our, all the stuff that we normally do and uh, um, get a get a better feel for us, not not so much the Knicks. They're, they're, we're excited to be in Montreal. I mean, it's yeah. a yeah, it's a it's a it's a great city and it's a great building. And uh, I know there's a lot of basketball fans from here.